morning everybody and welcome back to a pretty stagey few days in my life. Today I am off to Sheffield. I'm going to the Sheffield Crucible to see my friends Demir and Lucy in the production of White Christmas that is there. I've heard really good things about it and I just absolutely love them both so I'm really excited to see them in the show. And I now have kind of like a week off so I'm running around seeing all my friends and just trying to get a load of stuff done. For anybody who doesn't know me, hello, I'm Alicia and I'm a musical theatre performer. I just finished my first ever panto and I've got lots of exciting stuff happening this year but I'm not allowed to tell you yet so stay tuned, bear with, subscribe. <laughs> anyway, let's start my journey up to Sheffield. I'm really excited, it's about an hour and a half drive. I have just arrived in the car park at Sheffield. I have been using an app called Just Park a lot recently and it's so good. Usually it directs you to someone's drive that they're hiring out or something like that, but also it can have their actual sort of parking lots like this one and normally the price is cheaper so it's always worth just having a look on Just Park seeing if they uh, have cheaper parking. I would get the train places but honestly for me and my chaotic life it is just easier to just get in the car sometimes it means that I don't have to actually organize my life which is nice Um also this coffee cup guys it's from a brand called smash uh, but I got it in Sainsbury's I think literally cost me like 10 pound or something and my coffee is still hot that my very lovely dad made for me before I left the house so 10 out of 10 would recommend that. Um, it is now, what time? It is 12 o'clock and the show's not until two. So I have a bit of time to kill. I also have a lot of editing to do because I've given myself like a good sort of few days off post panto because it's just been absolutely crazy. Um, so I'm probably gonna just go and find a coffee shop and do a bit of work. I have toured here to Sheffield twice before. I came with Little Miss Sunshine, my very first tour, and I came with Bugsy, so I'm hoping that a lot of it will be familiar to me. But both times I've been here, I have been to the Lyceum Theatre, but White Christmas is at the Crucible, so that'll be really nice to be in there. I did actually watch a production of, um, how do I get out? Oh, it's raining. No, I did actually watch a production of Life of Pi at the Crucible when it first uh, opened, which was really, really good. And it's a beautiful theatre, so I'm really excited to go back. Right, I think I need to go around to here. Let's try and get to the city centre. Yeah, so here is the Lyceum, and then there's the Crucible. I think the Lyceum normally has like some of the big touring shows, and the Crucible normally does things that are just there, if you know what I mean. If I remember correctly, there's a Starbucks right here, which I'm going to go and sit in, yeah. <laughs> just over there. If you're a subscriber you'll know my drink of choice from Starbucks is the white mocha with oat milk and hazelnut syrup. It tastes like a white Kinder Bueno, it's so good. Also got a bacon roll because I'm a bit hungry. And I'm just going to sit for an hour or so and edit my final panto vlog which you probably would have already seen by now. That hour and a half was very productive. I literally edited an entire vlog on my iPad which is a much slower than on my Mac but we make do. Um, but yeah, very happy with that. I'm now going to wander over to the theatre. Next to the theatres there's this like wonderful, I don't know, tropical garden, winter garden is what it says now. I'm not sure that it's always called that, but it's lovely and you can just walk through it for free. And I think they have a coffee shop and things. It's lovely. Um, right, let's go to the theatre. I think I've got my ticket on my phone. A lot of shows are doing that now, aren't they? Just doing like QR code sort of tickets, but that makes it nice and easy. I'm so excited. It's not a very nice day, to be honest. <laughs> Luckily, we're going inside for a little while. I'm so excited, it looks amazing. <laughs> right, here we are. What a beautiful space. I am H65. H60. Okay, I'm this side. H65. Here I am. Oh, what a brilliant view. I love this theatre so much. When they did Life of Pi here, the tech was just so crazy and it literally looked like there was water on the floor. It was amazing. Oh, I'm so excited. I haven't been to the theatre in so long. I feel like that's the downside to being in a show as a theatre actor, like you just can't go and see other shows, which 
I think in some ways makes you a good actor, like seeing other work and being inspired. So yeah, I'm really using my time off to try and see a lot of stuff. It's also worth noting here, there's literally not a bad seat in the house, like everyone can see very, very well. I absolutely loved that. I enjoyed it so much. My friends were absolutely epic, like amazing. I'm so proud. And um, I'm just gonna go and find them at stage door now. Hello, I've just got back in my car. I absolutely loved every minute of that show. Loved all of the dancing. It was so nice to see like a real big dance show. I really had a good time. Saw my friends Zamia and Lucy afterwards and we went for a lovely Italian. It was so good. And now I'm doing my drive home. I need to get some petrol as well. But yeah, I had a wonderful, wonderful time today. My goodness, this light is horrendous. <laughs> I have just got home. I'm gonna take my makeup off, do a bit of skincare. My phone decided to die on me like an hour before I got home. So I had to try and follow the signs and it was not fun, but it's okay, I'm here now and it's fine. Um, I thought I had a charger in my car, I always keep one in there, but I think it has reached old age and died. So yeah, need to replace that ASAP. Thank God I didn't have a breakdown or something. I mean, my car breakdown, not a mental breakdown. <laughs> God, can you tell I'm tired? So I need to now plan for tomorrow. I am teaching at a primary school tomorrow and I'm so excited. I am a fully qualified dance teacher, but I obviously don't get the opportunity to use it that much because I'm always prancing around on stage, which I'm not complaining about, but um, I do love teaching. I do have a passion for teaching and I love teaching, especially little ones. Uh, so I'm really, really excited. They are doing a module at their school called Beat Band Boogie, where they're learning different instruments and different dance styles and things. So I'm doing a little bit of grease with them, but also doing some like technical dance skills sort of thing. So I need to just sit down and get my music ready and uh, sort of plan what I'm gonna do. I mean, Greece is pretty straightforward because I know the choreography and I know sort of what I'll teach them for their age group. But for the technical dance skills, I think I'm gonna be doing some exam board stuff. I think that'll be the easiest thing for them to do and it's still fun. But yeah, I just need to plan exactly what I'm going to do. Shouldn't take me long at all. But yeah, I'm working there from nine till three tomorrow so that's quite a long day but then i am driving to london because i've been invited to a christmas party well post christmas party i guess let me tell you more about this when i get to my room okay so tomorrow night i have this post christmas party it's very odd i've been invited and it's hosted by atg like atg theatres i guess and I believe I've been invited because the workshop that I'm about to do in a couple of weeks, I assume that's produced by ATG Theatres or I don't, I don't even know what's going on honestly, but it says, hi blank team, here's an invite to our Christmas party and all of our shows and our cast from our shows are invited. So I assume that I'll know somebody there, you know, like some friends that are in different ATG shows, I assume, but um, I'm quite scared <laughs> and I've not really been to many networking sort of events um, and I assume that it's not really a networking event, you know, people are just going for a Christmas party, but for me, if I don't know anyone, I guess it will turn into some sort of networking event, which I'm not really too good at. But I'm allowed to bring a plus one, so I'm going to take Luke with me. So if we don't know anyone, we can just stand in a corner and enjoy the free drinks, I guess. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to start this planning for the teaching tomorrow and we'll take it from there. Hello, I am an absolute shell of a woman. Look at the state of it. I have just finished my teaching and I've just come home, rammed my car with my things and now I'm on the road again, headed to London. I think it's about a three hour drive actually to Luke's house. Let's have a look. I do absolutely love teaching, like I, I really, really love it, but I forget how much of my heart and soul I put into it. Like I don't hold back and I can't hold back. So. 
I will be dancing full out. If I'm teaching for six hours, I will dance full out and be giving my heart and soul through that whole time, which is so freaking exhausting. <laughs> I did have a wonderful day, but um, I'm very tired now. So I'm just gonna have a really chilled, slow drive back. And yeah, I'm just gonna take it easy and then just get home whenever I get home and then get ready for this party tonight. So wish me luck. Good morning, everybody. I'm looking a little bit worse for wear, aren't I? <laughs> Yesterday was such a long day. I can't believe that I actually did it. <laughs> Waking up at like seven o'clock to leave for basically teaching a full school day. Getting in my car, three hour drive, got here at seven, literally got ready in an hour just dumped all my stuff everywhere in this room and then went to that uh, party. It was kind of weird because I genuinely didn't know anyone. I'm so glad I took Luke because I just, I didn't know anyone at all. And because we haven't been told our cast for our workshop, it was really hard to sort of try and know who was doing it. I actually don't think there were many people there from the workshop. And that's kind of why I was going, to be honest, to try and meet some people. I did meet one girl called Emma, she was lovely. And yeah, we were chatting for a while, but we both agreed we don't know anyone here. And she ended up going quite early because she was by herself. And I did speak to some people, you know, met some new people, but Really, I was just there sort of enjoying the free drinks and free food. It was lovely, it was in the arcade, which is just opposite the Dominion, near Tottenham Court Road, like on that corner. And it was sort of like Box Park, where there's loads of different uh, food places, but they were just all bringing out food, like, co constantly. Luke and I had had, like, two pizzas just before we went, so we weren't really that hungry. But anyway, we did have a nice evening but we called it quits quite early and I knew today that I had to pack away all of my things because this is basically my stuff that I had in Cambridge that I'd moved. So oh, I can't even show, well, actually I will show you this corner of the room, but oh my goodness. Look at all that, that's crazy. My shoes from last night there, my suitcase and all my things are just like trashed on the floor. So I need to spend a couple of hours sort of putting all of this away and cleaning this room because it was honestly spotless before I came. Luke's done such a good job of like keeping the house clean and everything. So anyway, I'm gonna clean all this up and then I need to get ready to drive to Leicester, which is another two and a half hour drive. <laughs> My poor car. She's on her last legs, but anyway, yeah, driving to Leicester because I know that I'll probably want to see everyone after the show and stay, and I don't want to be getting a train back to central London past midnight and then getting the trains all back to where we live. So I think the car is the best bet just so that I know that I'm safe and I can just drive myself and go whenever I want. Let's start the unpacking process, which is always the worst job, isn't it? I'm back in the car. I managed to do, I'm gonna say, 90% of unpacking. You know what really grinds on my gears? You know when you've unpacked everything and you've just got loads of little bits that you don't really have a home for and you're just like, oh, like, like empty sort of storage bags and things like that. I was just like, I actually can't deal with this right now. And I was like running late and doing my makeup. And I was also on FaceTime to Rue, who I'm going to see in Berlin at the end of this week and we just had a lovely catch up and I'm so excited to go and see them out there. It's gonna be so good. But anyway, I'm most of the way done. My suitcase is still on the floor in the bedroom, but it's okay, I will sort that out tomorrow morning. Right, so now I am driving to Leicester. Let's see how long it's gonna take me. It was saying two and a half hours last night, which I was like, oh, two hours, 15, not too bad. Um, Let's, Oh, I have to go through Cambridge. Oh, I'm actually going to go for the longer option because on the shorter option, it looks like there's quite a lot of traffic. So let's try and do that one and I'll go through Cambridge. So today is actually Darcy's birthday, who's my friend from Greece, and she's in Avita. So we're going for a meal at about three o'clock. It's now 20 past 12. So I'm kind of fine. <laughs> but yeah, so we're going to have that meal and then I'll watch the show in the evening. Let's start another long drive. Here we go. I've just arrived at the car park, which is just next to the curve. I did look online and it said that I can validate my ticket in the theater. So I'm gonna go and try and do that now. I think you can 
get a cheaper rate if you're visiting the theatre. I guess I'll just show them my ticket. Anyway, I'm gonna go to the theatre and then Darcy is getting ready for the meal in the theatre, so I'm gonna meet her. I think I'm literally next door. I have toured here before. Um, I went to the curb with Bugsy and I went to another theatre with Little Miss Sunshine. So I have been here twice, but I don't remember much of it. I'm not gonna lie, it was a long time ago now. I do love this theatre, it's gorgeous. And I I think, well I assume I'll go to box office to validate my ticket, which is all the way around the side here. But yeah, I love this theatre so much and I'm so excited to see the show. If you don't already know, I think there was about five people from Greece that went on to do a Vita here. So we're gonna have a big reunion now and I'm really, really excited. So if you've not been to the curve before, up here, are the dressing rooms and so audience members that are coming and going can sort of see Cass milling about up there and then I don't know whether they do this anymore but this black sort of wall leads to backstage and it lifts up at the end of the performance you can see all the actors sort of leaving the space uh, which I think is really cool and then it gives the audience sort of an insight into I know backstage and gives them a bit of a inside scoop I guess we catch him stage you Long time no see. We're glad uh, to be back. Um, we're taking over as well. We're going to take this camera and um, take you through our day. She's not going to get it back. This is actually uh, our new week, channel. Week in the life of Darcy and Liv in Leicester. It's actually Darcy's birthday today. It is my birthday. Happy birthday! Hello. Come in. It's Martha. Martha. Hey, Martha. Why do you look really suspicious? Because we're, we're just vlogging. <laughs> Come say hello to the fans. This is Martha Kirby, she was in Greece. She oh. was in Greece, she was sand. All oh, the Greece fans will love this. Yeah. <laughs> Should we call it a day? Yeah, well, you know, we're gonna go to warm up. Right, costume change, ready? Three, two, one. Oh, oh. sorry, different oh. transfer. Three, two, one. Wait, I wasn't in oh. it. Ready? Three, two, one. That was so lovely. They all have warm up now, so I've decided to leave them be. And I'm gonna go and sit in the cafe, which is just at the front of the theatre, and edit this vlog. So I'm just editing this vlog in the green room, which is the cafe here at the Cove. Got myself an orange juice because I was just really fancying an orange juice for some reason and a programme. I was just having a look through. The cast looks so brilliant. I'm really, really excited. I've just got back to my car. It is 20 to 11 and I'm just about to start my drive, which is a long one. <laughs> just quickly though, I absolutely flipping love that and I wish this vlog was coming out pre it closing because I would have said everyone needs to go and watch it. It was absolutely excellent. It was so different to the original version and I loved it. It just all worked. It was probably the best show that I've seen in a couple of years, which is saying something because I've seen quite a few shows, but my friends are just so talented and I'm so proud of them and I was just sat there looking at them feeling so inspired and like how amazing to be inspired by people that you can call friends. I just, I really, really loved it. I feel a little bit emotional about it because it was just so flipping good. I have just pulled into the drive and it is quarter to one. I'm so exhausted, but it was so worth it. One, brilliant to see a brilliant show, but also just amazing to see my friends after a long time not seeing them. To continue my stagey week, I guess, I was meant to be going to see my friend Ez tomorrow for breakfast. Ez is assistant dance captain and a swing in Matilda in the West End. We were meant to be going to Dishoom for breakfast, which is one of my favourite places in London to go for breakfast. If you've not been, please do go. But she is very unfortunately poorly and so we've had to reschedule. So I am going to end this vlog here because literally tomorrow I'll just be getting ready for Berlin, which is on Sunday. If you're not already, please subscribe for next week's vlog which will be my Berlin vlog. I'm going to show you sort of what it's like to be in a musical in Germany which is very common for us musical theatre folk. There's lots happening musical wise in Germany for British performers. I'm going to chat to Rue about their experience and also show you bits and bobs of Berlin and, and what it's like to be a performer over there. So I shall see you in the next one.